Hey everyone, so I have a makeup basket for you guys. I meant to film this um, and have it up a week ago, but if you don't follow me on Instagram, I will fill you in super quick. I kind of had a, not, I wouldn't say emergency, but like impromptu um, small surgery. Um, I had a cyst growing on my tailbone. It's extremely painful. Um, I didn't really know about it, and then, you know, it just got really bad really quick, so... Um, I had that taken care of and um, then I was in recovery for the rest of the week so it's just been, last week um, was my spring break so I'm really glad that it happened you know when I was at home and I had my family there to help me um, you know to drive me and stuff like that um, but yeah I was pretty much just sleeping and trying to manage the pain and you know recovering so this is the makeup that I wore the week before because to be honest, I really did not wear much makeup last week. Um, I'm still just going very light with my makeup because I just don't really care. Um, so let's get into it. Um, if you haven't seen one of these, I always go in order that I apply the products to my face. So let's get into it. Um, the lip balm still working on the Sierra B's Organic Cocoa Butter Lip Balm. Still working on that. Okay, so for primers, I have the two that I've been, um, you know, really focusing on, and this is the um, Tea Tree Pore Minimizer. This is in my Project 10 Pan. If you didn't know, I just started a new Project 10 Pan. I will have the intro video linked down below for you guys if you want to check that out. So that's a Project 10 Pan item. And then um, I also am working on my Becca Ever Matte um, Poreless, whatever, mattifying primer. And this one I just use a little bit. I just use it in my T-zone area, so... Yeah, there's that. And then this is a new product. If you saw my haul, I just um, got a couple new things. So this is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector, and I have this in the shade Moonstone. It's just the small size. And sometimes I put this on um, kind of as a primer underneath my foundation, just kind of like on my cheeks mostly, um, because I don't want to be too much more shiny in you know the center of my face. But sometimes I put all over the um, all over my face. And so yeah, that's something new I've just had in my uh, makeup bag. If I want to use it, I can. And then I go on to eyes, and of course I have my Wet n Wild eyeshadow primer, and then I also have my Kat Von D tattoo eraser pencil that I use in the inner corner to help block out darkness, which I obviously did not do today. And then this is a new product. This is the Laura Geller I Do Cream Eyeshadow um, Crayon, and this is in the shade Opal. And so this is the color here. I do have it all over my lids today. Um, and I'll give you a swatch here on the back of my hand. It's just a nice kind of shimmery champagne shade. Um, yeah, I, I do like it. And once it sets, it stays really well. So this has been nice just to have in my bag, you know, for quick just color on my eyes. I also like this on the inner corner. And then I put my shimmery powder shade over that. Um, and it really just helps lock it in all day. So for my eyeshadows, of course, I'm using my Pan That Palette, which is the Tarte Be Magnificent palette. Um, so there's that. And then I um, obviously need more shades because that's all matte. So every two weeks I alternate my eyeshadow palettes. Um, so this week or the past two weeks I have used the Tarte Coral Crush palette. This was a limited edition one in the fall. Not a ton of people latched onto this one, but I love it. I wish it was still available. So um, this is what it looks like here. And this past um, two weeks I've really been focusing on this gold shade. It's super pretty. It's kind of like um, it reminds me of Light Bronze from the Lara Pro where it's like a lighter gold, but it's not so um, yellow. It kind of has more of a, um, I don't know, more of like a champagne touch to it. So it's swiped right there. Um, I've also been using kind of this more pewtery kind of shade on the outer corner a little bit. And then I use this purple a couple times as well. So yeah, this is a really nice palette. I definitely love it. And I'm glad that I, you know, used it for a couple weeks and got some more use in it. For eyeliners, the same two, the Tarte Inner Rim Liner, this is in a project pan, and then the Laura Geller Incredible um, Broader Proof Gel Eyeliner in the shade Brown Eyed Girl, it's just a dark brown. Both of these are in project pan. Um, mascara is the same two, the Mally Volumizing Mascara, and then the Essence Get Big Lashes Waterproof Mascara. For my face. Um, I have my foundation here. This is the Urban Decay Naked Skin 2.0. I love this stuff, so still working on that. Um, I recently got this. I just want to try it out. Um, I'm not going to report back yet because I'm going to give it a few more tries. This is the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Hydrating 
um, gel cream and I have mine in the shade vanilla which is 02 so you will see this in the haul if you haven't seen that already um, but yeah so I'm still trying this out and then while I was at home I do have a box of makeup um, at home that I don't really need right now just a lot of like extra things or things um, you know like eyeshadow palettes that I've already used it's just kind of taking up space um, you know at school and stuff so I just take it home because I am going home for the summer so it's just kind of me starting to move things back as I don't need them. So this was there and I decided I'd pull it back out and just try to wear it some more. This is the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Plus Cream. Um, a very popular item on YouTube. This is in the shade Fair. I do have it on today with some powder foundation on top of it. I do like it. It is a little bit more dewy than I'm used to, but it's great for just, you know, like today all I did was drive back to school here. Um, so I just slapped this on so I had some sunscreen and just a little bit of coverage. So there's that. For concealers, the same three. I have the Pixi Under Eye Brightening Corrector. I used this before foundation, um, so just like, you know, side note there, I guess. And then I have the Cover FX Blemish Treatment um, Concealer that's in my project pan, and then the NYX HD Concealer that I use under my eyes. And then, as you guys know, I'm trying to rotate through my cream blushes as well. So this past two weeks, I've Two weeks I've used the Josie Moran um, Argan Infinity Lip and Cheek Creamy Oil and this is in the shade Everlasting Honey so whoa um, this is what I've been using on my cheeks um, kind of as my cream cheek product base so that's it right there and then when you rub it in it's just kind of like a nice natural kind of rosy shade I really do like this one um, I do like the consistency it is a little bit um, shiny it never completely dries down but that's okay. It adds a little bit extra glow, so that's been nice. And then I spray my face. Um, I just got a new one of these, so I'm back to using this. This is the NYX Matte Finish Spray, so I am using that again. For my brows, last two weeks um, I have been working on the NYX Micro Brow Pencil, so in taupe. And then also I've been using my Anastasia um, Tinted Brow Gel in Blonde, so that's my brow combo. So now for powders to set my under eyes, I am using the Anastasia Vanilla and then to set any like concealer on my face, I use the Anastasia Banana. It just adds a little bit extra coverage and really helps keep the concealer in place I find. For my um, actual face powder, so like today I said that I'm wearing the CC Cream and then a powder foundation on top and I'm using the Cover FX Powder Foundation. This is in the shade N25, which in the pan looks a little bit dark, but you know, on my skin I feel like it works out pretty well. Um, and then if I'm using like my foundation, I'll use my loose powder. This is the Tarte Smooth Operator Setting Powder. I love this stuff. It's my favorite, favorite powder, so that's what I've been using to set my face otherwise. For um, cheek products, my bronzer is the NARS Laguna in this little duo here. This is in my Project 10 pants. I'm not going to show you the inside because I have an update coming soon. Um, and then for um, highlighter this week, I'm using the highlighter in here, but I'm not using the blushes in here. So I'm just using the highlight on my, um, you know, face. And then also in the inner corner is how I use the highlight. For blushes this past week, I've been using the blush in the Tarte palette. Um, this one right here. And then also in my Pan That palette, there is a blush in here. I can probably show you. That's um, the color there. So it's an all matte blush. This is the one I've been wearing more, but I did wear both. So those are the blushes I've worn as I haven't been using the ones in here. For contour, I am still using the Kevin Aquan um, Sculpting Powder. I just love this so much. So yeah, it's right there. Um, and then I spray my face with my Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. Um, I just keep the smaller one in my bag if you don't know so that it doesn't take up as much take up as much space um, and I just refill it with a full size. For my lips today I am just wearing my lip liner. This is the Jordana Easy Liner for Lips in the shade Baby Berry. This is um, one in my Project 10 pan. I do have the NARS Dolce Vita lipstick which I've mentioned in weeks past that I'm still working on. That's a Project Pan item and then I'm still working on that Tarte Gloss which is also a Project Pan item. Um, and then to finish off my face my finishing powder is the Hourglass Dim Light Ambient Lighting Powder. I love this stuff. So definitely working on a dip in there. So that is all of the makeup I've been using this past two weeks. Um, I really didn't wear much makeup last week, obviously, um, because I was just not doing anything. Um, and frankly, I was in too much pain to be bothered. But um, I did have a request just to show how I sanitize my makeup. And typically um, what I do is I pull out all my makeup every single week and spray it down with isopropyl alcohol. 
um, especially like the powder products. So like for instance, this Tarte palette that I've been using, um, I have my little bottle of isopropyl alcohol. I just decant it into a little spray bottle. And seriously, all I'm gonna do is just spray it and let it air dry. It doesn't change with the consistency. It doesn't change with um, anything. It just kind of smells bad. So, um, but I just let it air dry. I just lay it out and then when it's dry, I can put it away. And um, I like to do this when I'm switching out my makeup so that I know that everything that is away in my collection is clean and ready to go and I don't have to worry about it. So um, if you're just wondering, that's how I do that. I know I talk about that a lot in my Project Use It Up because I'm um, you know, trying to encourage myself to do that more often and stay on top of it. So anyway, that is everything I have. I hope you guys are having a great day. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you have been rotating lately. I know a lot of this stuff does stay the same, but some of it does rotate and I do like to give you updates on, you know, things I'm trying or, you know, just different ways I'm using things. So I hope you guys enjoy and these aren't getting too repetitive. I really do enjoy filming this video um, twice a month. So anyway, I hope you guys are having a great day. Thank you for watching again. Subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.